It's okay for car designers to dream on paper, but a pretty picture on the wall isn't exactly going to wow the crowds at car shows, is it? Concepts need to be made in the metal. Quite often, car companies don't have the resources to build one-off prototypes on site, so they hand the work over to specialist companies such as metal crafters in California. Even though they're far away from the factories of Motor City, Detroit, the company, founded by the Gafolio family, have built up a fantastic reputation and the business has built up into a veritable concept car factory. Dyma Chrysler does provide the designs and we manufacture what they spec out. The first thing we do, we receive it, we sign a shipper, we photograph the clay model. From there, we scan it, we call white light scanning. And from that information, we basically develop um, cutter path information. The vehicle is brought over to the five axis machine and from there we actually cut the other side of the vehicle, the non-master side. They're working with clay at this stage and lines are cut into the clay with enormous precision. Although computerization is everywhere, there's no substitute sometimes for careful work by hand. I bet this guy enjoyed playing with plasticine when he was a kid, now he gets paid for it. And sometimes the whole affair can get rather messy. All basically the second surfaces of the vehicle. And from there it gets molded again. And from there it goes into the, the build bay, as, as you see right here. And there it's set up in, in a spatial grid. And the tooling is set up in a, in a point to where we can always come back and reference the, um, the chassis and all the interior later on. And from there it basically, engineering takes over. They design a chassis and or a floor pan and depending on the type of vehicle whether it's a carbon fiber or a steel steel vehicle will determine its process. Concept cars don't just use a set of alloys off the shelf at the chain store. Everything has to be made from scratch, a costly affair. They're, they're expensive. <laughs> they're very expensive. Now what's that lurking in the background? Any guesses? You know, this is really incredibly precision work, and every millimetre counts. Wouldn't you love to work in a place like this? Not just churning out production cars, but creating something new and exciting. There is different technologies. We have uh, a few of them. We have a selective laser sintering machine that basically creates products from CAD data, and uh, we use the products as the final part versus other technologies that give you a good pattern, but from the pattern you need to go to tooling or any kind of mold making to get to your part. Here we're using the parts, you know. Here's a PT Cruiser that's having the concept treatment on it for a show display. Mmm, neat. Pick a part, any part. This area of the Metal Crafters factory includes a series of pressing machines that can stamp out a variety of body shapes, but since only one of each is required, it works out to be very expensive. And of course, the metal shapes never come out perfectly trimmed, so a little tidying up by hand is required. The logistics of following all the projects through every stage is quite complicated. These body shells look in a very sorry state in their early stages compared to the flashy designs they're working to. But Rome wasn't built in a day and neither are concept cars. When the body's pretty much done as far as a steel body or a carbon fiber body, the components from the um, interior are ready to be put into the actual vehicle. And from there, we do what we call a dry fit. We dry fit the complete vehicle with lamps and lighting interior. Hopefully by then we'll have the suspension drive trains in, we bolt those up and we completely basically finish the car to a point where, okay, it's ready to go, we take it apart, goes to servicing, gets surfaced, gets painted, comes back and then we um, finally assemble the vehicle. Note this project is simply called job number 886 Chrysler Small. There's no point in too many people knowing what name this secret concept car is going to eventually become. Loads of jobs to do today. What are you fancy tackling? Wow, look at this huge pressurized chamber for the perfect paint finish. No little cans with blocked nozzles being shaken up and down here. And remember, every car will need glass, and that's a whole new problem. You can't just cut a piece of acrylic, it won't look right. We discovered a veritable car park of concepts and customizations destined for various trade shows, and none of these would ever get dirty on the freeways and interstates. 
These guys really take pride in their work, with guidance from their boss and founder, George Gaffolio, who put signs up like, Paying attention to small things creates perfection, but perfection is no small thing. Mm, good, eh? This is what the future of um, Chrysler is in the next um, three to four years. This is what we're going to be producing. Um, these vehicles are really the, the leap beyond what's going to be in 2020, 2010. And that's really the best way to describe it. These are like the exact 180 degrees of what was last year.